This is exactly what I'm talking about. If you had watched the news coverage, you would have seen what Diana has accomplished in a very short amount of time. She raised a lot of money for a lot of different charities. She was a goodwill ambassador to a lot of different countries, including the United States. She was here several times on goodwill missions. So you cannot, you absolutely cannot deny that she had accomplished a lot. And that is one reason I am glad that there was this coverage so people like you cannot take that away from her. Thank you. Mr. Hitch. Well, look, it's, um, you can't argue with or quarrel with faith and you can't tell someone who's in love that they're not um, these things are unquantifiable people who believe that she did a lot and contributed a lot and made a difference and so on are obviously stuck with that belief um, I don't think I know of a single celebrity who doesn't have a signature charity for example I mean it's part of being a celebrity you you do your charity work with some celebrities it looks more like an accessory than it does with others with her it didn't look like an accessory I mean she could go from being the woman who had who did the gold digging divorce settlement in which she asked among other things for a private plane and got two palaces and 600 million pounds in cash to one photo op in Angola and people would remember the photo op in Angola now her her dowdy boring former sister-in-law Princess Anne who's been the patron of the Save the Children Fund for I think 25 years now goes trudging around Africa looking like a fright in her boots and so on up to here in mud and so on all the time, covered in flies and so on, doing the same thing. No one cares. No one bothers to send a camera after her. She's not photogenic, for one thing. She's a boring frump. But she really is a spade work charity worker. The fact is, nobody can really tell you what Princess Diana actually did. But if, if they believe that she did it, in, in a sense, she did do. But it's, it's exactly that confusion, what Daniel Boston in his book on the non-event you know, says, being well known for being well known, that one hopes doesn't become the only value uh, in the selection of um, news priorities. That's all. Nashville. We're not trying ahead. to rain on your parade, ma'am. Nashville, go ahead, please. Yes, I would like to say that I honor the memory of Diana, the Princess of Wales. And frankly, Brian, I'm appalled at your guest this morning. And I would like to say further that there are two kinds of paraparazzi or these photographers that chase celebrities on motorcycles and cars. They're the kind that you have there this morning, that all they do is sit and malign and criticize and try to defame someone's <coughs> honor mm -hmm. and memory. And I want to tell you something else, Brian. There's something more in life than just criticizing and maligning. I honor Diana because she hugged a sick child because she did take the hand of someone who was dying with AIDS. I'm glad she was there to do it. I honor her memory and I didn't know her and I probably would never get to meet her but I think she was a wonderful person. I think her memory is going to live on and I'm disgusted by the comments of Mr. Pruden and Mr. Hitchings and Mr. Hitchings I've got something to tell you you're in this cr country criticizing the royals. That's very easy to do. I would like to see you go back to England and criticize them over there. No, oh, please. That's not so brave. That's easy. Um, I can, well, I guess I think I can meet all your objections. Um, as you see, someone whose voice shows borderline hysteric. Um, and not only that, she's had a whole week where everything on every, every inch of air time, if, if you have inches of time, Every moment of our time has been set up to suit people like her, moist, semi-tearful. And she sees two people for a few moments who don't agree, and she's in a state about it. She can't take even that. This is the sort of, this is the sort of cheap uh, emotion on which the thing's been based. It's exactly what we're objecting to. As for um, the demand that I should go back home to say this, um, I say it all the time. In England, I published a book there, a critique of the monarchy, saying it's time uh, for it to fold its tents and go, which wasn't a popular book when it came out. It's got more popular since, you may be glad to hear, ma'am. 